What is up guys, David here from Three Point Slugging and on this episode, I'm gonna be going over my 1994 Toyota pickup, AKA the Nomad, stay tuned. All right guys, well, here is my 1994 Toyota pickup, uh, solid ox swapped, uh, AKA the Nomad, uh, hence the name Overland Nomad to my Instagram and my YouTube channel. So let's get started with the front here. So what we got here in the front is a solid axle swap, obviously. And uh, this was done by Jake, which is Off-Road Endeavor on Instagram. And uh, obviously if you watched the Three Point Slow gang episodes, you know him. So he is the master when it comes to all this stuff to Toyotas. So he did this. Uh, why is axle look, looks like, why does it look like that? It was cut and turned. Uh, that's why it sits like that better angle for the drive shaft. The drive shaft is on its way from Yoda Masters. That's the last thing that needs to be done on the solid axle swap. Everything's been great. Uh, ride quality when it comes to solid axle swap. It rides. Uh, <laughs> it's not a comfortable ride, but is it worth it? Any? It, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. I would not go back. I love it. Uh, this is going to give you way more articulation, and honestly, it just. It's just way better and I don't know in my opinion uh, but yeah ride quality compared to IFS obviously you know it's not gonna be better uh, I have an 80 series Land Cruiser and on the on the FZJ 80 it's got a coil uh, coils instead of leaf springs and that is a really comfortable ride um, so anyways I'm not gonna get off topic here this uh, front bumper is not a trail gear bumper but it kind of looks like one it was done by Jonathan's brother which Jonathan from the three point slow gang his brother Jacob made it uh and if you are interested in some of this kind of stuff if you're local here to the valley which is south texas uh hit him up uh hit me up in the comments whatever let me know and he's doing some work now these uh are amazon led pods with little covers i haven't even wired them yet they're still there i don't know the brand there's some cheap pods i'm pretty sure they work i haven't i didn't even touch them <laughs> i didn't even touch them to be honest now to move to these headlights, these are also Amazon uh, headlights. I don't know, forgot the name of them, but they're what, five by seven headlights, you know? You can find them any time, any day on online on eBay or Amazon. So these were bought on Amazon. Um, let's move uh, to the tires. We got some Treadride Guard Dogs, 315 by 75 by 16. <laughs> I just noticed I have this right here. That's great. Um, I've had them for a few years already and they're, they've been doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't have any anything else to talk about the tires. Um, there's, look at that, the Bilstein shock. So, motor wise, we obviously have the three point slow under the hood, AKA the 3.0, the 3VZE uh, V6 motor. And if you know that, yes, they're prone to head gaskets blowing head gaskets it's already happened to this truck once so the motor has been rebuilt and only has let me show you how many miles it has this is kind of funny because it doesn't make any sense well it does make sense in a way 121 and a half that's how many miles this truck has which is really low i bought it with how many buy it bought it with i think 94 000 miles back in 2010 um this truck was my daily driver at one point when I was in high school, but uh, I got other vehicles, so this truck doesn't really get that much, that many miles. It kind of sits and I drive it on the weekends kind of thing. So anyways, that's the motor. Uh, the only thing that's been done to that, it's got a Canon just filter. Let's, if you want to call that a modification, it's really not. It's just changed the air filter, which Isaac gave me. Let's, uh, thank you, Isaac. And what else we got? Uh, oh, EGR delete. Uh, that's another video you can find on the channel if you're interested in that. So EGR delete, all that emission stuff was deleted. Uh, I don't have to worry about that because we're in Texas. Uh, now we're going to the back camper. So if you've been following me on YouTube or uh, Instagram, if you go to my previous older stuff, you know I started with a red truck shell, a camper. I had that and then I switched to a wilderness, which it would open like this. And after that, I had a four-wheel uh, camper, which I still have, which is on a trailer now. And that four-wheel camper is a big one. It looks like a little house and it pops up. 
so that's the other one and now we're at this point we kind of went back and uh this is an aluminum camper i just got it painted by a buddy of mine uh a few days ago this it's got it's got a little thing and as you can see it's aluminum and yes the wheel wheels were cut off i made that decision a long time ago not a long time ago a few years ago that was a very dumb decision and i need to get that uh <laughs> covered up again but that's another thing we can talk about later but the camper um as you know this vehicle this uh rig is more of an adventure uh vehicle it's not a rock crawler and um i don't okay let me talk why i don't have that uh, the four-wheel camper anymore a lot of people are like what did you take it off just it's too heavy for this vehicle with the solid axle swap done now it would sway like crazy i mean it was scary this truck is very uh it's very flexible and that camper having that much weight in the rear was not fun believe me so i took it off and i put it on my trailer which you can watch on some of my my recent videos i took a uh i took a trailer camping i have the four wheel camper on there that setup is way better because i can pull it with the pickup i can tow it with my land cruiser and i can tow it with my xterra pro 4x uh so that setup is a lot easier now with this camper this is simplicity at its best when it comes to camping i want to set up to open up and to have everything accessible right here bins whatever you want you can pull it out put some lights right here so when you open you got lights i want to cut on the roof and put two uh vents because i will be sleeping in here on one side i won't want to have a bed and on the other side i have all the storage um so that's a setup um sleeping in the vehicle is the most easiest thing you could do when it comes to camping and adventures it's just you drive up and you're you're done you take the whatever you take the ice chest out whatever you want and you're done you're ready to go it's pretty simple so that's the, the plan that we're doing on the pickup and you know i already have that kind of setup in the in the fzj80 that's another video i have on the channel you can see the sleeping setup that i have on that it's gonna be basically the same thing which is really simple so enough of that so that's a camper we're gonna put a i don't know what i'm gonna do on top but i want to have storage on top just some sim simple you know stuff some boxes up there now moving on to the rear bumper this is actually a trail gear bumper for four runners and pickups the reason why it's not sitting flush or sitting closer to the pickup is the two inch body lift obviously so it should be like right up here but it's not because of the body lift but it does its job it's still a bumper it's got a hitch really like that and it's awesome protection it's not supposed to look pretty it's just supposed to do its job which it is here we have a two bike bike rack that i have on there what were we talking about talking about the bumper oh we're gonna talking about the leaf springs uh chevy 63 leaf springs uh conversion probably will be done in the future but for now this will do uh i got the old uh lift blocks from the rough country kit and i have an add leaf on here as well um without the add leaf it was sitting you know down from the solid axle swap so it was definitely needed uh this paint job was done about maybe eight years ago still holding up pretty well let me show you guys the interior let me take the keys out interior is basic i do want to put some forerunner seats on here instead of these i know the forerunner ones or the the bucket seats right i think that's yeah bucket seats they're a lot more comfortable uh, i need to go to a junkyard and get some um stereo doesn't work i use one of these <laughs> a bluetooth speaker for in here um that works for now i'm not looking to switch it out uh here's my little mod this is always a good mod to have in the pickup so simple uh, fire extinguishers in the back that's about it on here i got some this that led strip's been there for a few years it's already sagging it's just it's just there again this truck isn't supposed to be all pretty or whatever it's just supposed to be useful and for what it does it's very useful but again the only thing that needs to be addressed are the mechanical issues like the turning on the truck 
that's being a very annoying thing that needs to be addressed. Um, but other than that, this pickup has just been an awesome truck. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments or any other topics you want to go over, uh, leave them down below. Maybe I'll do an, a follow-up video soon or maybe next week because I have nothing to do. I'm just stuck at home. Uh, well, I do, I do still go to work, but, you know, when I'm at home, I like to film some stuff. So leave them down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Overland Nomad. Uh, I want to thank the Patreon gang. Thank you guys for supporting us. Uh, that really means a lot. If you're interested, patreon.com slash Overland Nomad. We got stickers. Three point slow gang stickers are over here. Uh, oh yeah, look at that rust, nice. Three point slow gang stickers, uh, overlandnomad.bigcartel.com, uh, link in the description, and uh, you know, enjoy camping, adventure videos, overland videos, uh, and also three point slow stuff. Stay subscribed on the channel. There's a lot more coming up after this whole coronavirus stuff goes because I know we're definitely gonna go, go on a lot of adventures after this is done because I need some real bad. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really pre appreciate you guys. Uh, and y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you guys.